Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strike. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be doing a full face of Kosas. Very interesting because I've actually never tried anything from Kosas. And there's another reason why this video is interesting, but you'll have to keep watching to find out why. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you find it helpful. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so um, let's get this video started really quickly. The nails are chipped. Also, uh, my pimple patch got the better of me. So if you see like a circle right here, it's my pimple and my pimple patch residue. Okay, so very interesting. Um, Kosas is actually a pretty cool feature. This is what really inspired the video. They have on their website under a tab called Try at Home. They have something called the Kosas Tryout. So it is an at home try on that's quick, easy, and risk free. So you actually buy samples and they give you store credit afterwards. So I think it's really cool because you can literally try out what you want and then purchase it if you like it or not. By the way, this is like not sponsored or anything like that. This is all my idea. So you can buy samples separately, but I decided just to get the whole at home kit, which actually is almost a full face of makeup. It's like a 90% full face. And this was $35. Once we figure out a product that we like, I can use that $35 credit to buy the full size. I think this is such a good idea. And I think that every single brand should do this because not only is it easier for us to not only pick a product that we like, but also like color match ourselves, but for them, they would get less returns of a full size product. So I feel like it would be a win-win. So Thank God for Kosas that did that. The only thing that I did buy full size for the sake of the video is the powder because it doesn't have a powder and it is the cloud set baking powder. So yeah, like I mentioned, we're gonna try to do a full face. So I guess we're gonna start out with the skin. So the try at home kit doesn't come with a primer. My skin is moisturized, so we're gonna move on to the base product. So we're gonna start out with a tinted face oil comfy skin tint. So this is supposed to be a clean light coverage skin tint, nourishing skincare elixir with a velvety finish that looks like your skin. Here's a little close up of all the oils that it has. I will say this is the only sample that doesn't have much product. Like all the other ones do come with like a lot of product to try out. I think I'm literally gonna grab like shades five, six, seven, and eight, and just kind of blend them all together so I can get enough for my face. Okay. I know a lot of people apply this with their hands. So I'm doing that because people apply it this way and also because I'm trying to get as much coverage as I can with such little product. If I did use like a sponge or a brush, I feel like it would soak it all up. I do feel like my skin looks perfected. It definitely doesn't match my neck though, so I'm gonna see if 7.5, if we can layer it on top. I mean, so far it feels nice. And it is blending out really nice and it doesn't feel like super oily. I don't know why I expected it to be like really, really oily. It's actually feels a little bit nicer than I thought, so that's good. So that's the face oil on. I do think that the samples for the face oil would be better for shade matching, definitely not trying out the product, but what I do have on the face, it looks nice. The good thing is that they actually sent a good amount of concealer sample. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, cream contour and conceal with these. So this is what the concealer looks like. It's called the Revealer Concealer. So it's supposed to be a medium coverage, super creamy concealer, eye cream and spot treatment in one. It's supposed to brighten and reveal the skin. I use this shade, which is 6.50. It is a medium tone with yellow golden undertones. I hear a lot of people talking about this concealer, like really good things about it. So I'm very excited to try it. See, this has way more products. So this will actually be useful. So let's go ahead and apply this. Ooh, this feels really creamy and this shade is perfect. So now I know my perfect shade if I do wanna buy the full size. Since we didn't really get that much base product, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to add some coverage back into my skin. So I put that all over my face and I still have like half the pot left. So this is an actual good sample. This is obviously just darker concealer, but because I do have these samples, I'm gonna use it as some cream bronzer. I'm gonna use this shade, it's 8.2W. It's a nice bronzy and warm shade. Just from application with the finger, so far it feels really, really nice and creamy. I don't really know how pigmented it is, so I'm, you know, I'm not gonna put too, too much. That's probably good. All right, so let's blend this out. Oh wow, this is way more pigmented than I thought. 
Oh my god, this is so pigmented. I did not I did not expect that. Jeez. This is why I like doing my bronzer first because I can kind of clean it up with a concealer in a second. I know this looks crazy, but trust the process. I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending out the concealer. So hopefully it helps us out a little bit because we're looking crazy. Oh my God, this looks so nice under the eyes. It's so hydrating and creamy, but it's giving me that coverage. I'm gonna use this to kind of blend it this way to kind of blend out that bronzer a little bit. But so far, like obviously I know the bronzer is crazy, but that was my fault. So far though, that concealer looks really nice. This product went such a long way. I mean, we don't even need foundation at this point. It, I really am looking like I have a more medium coverage base. So far this is actually looking so nice. This concealer is looking very, very luminous, but I do think it looks nice. I think it gave me more of a medium to full coverage. It doesn't look super full coverage, but it definitely like covered everything. This would be a beautiful, beautiful, like everyday concealer. So far it's looking really nice. Like my skin looks so like hydrated. It almost feels like I have like skincare on, which I think was a point. So let's go ahead and set it with the cloud powder. Super excited about this powder. I actually got this at Sephora. I've seen it all over TikTok. It is the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting and Smoothing Powder. I have the shade Breezy and it's supposed to be like a really lightweight powder that's supposed to be like super blurring. You guys know I love a lightweight powder that's nice and blurring. Um, they do have a translucent shade, I believe, but I ended up using the shade Breezy because I'm gonna see if I can get some more coverage from it instead of just setting. The only thing I wish is that there was a mirror right here, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna press it on. Ooh, wow, that looks really nice. <gasps> Yay! I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere and I will tell you guys how I feel. I really need to like, think about it. Fluffy brush and I'm gonna set the whole face because I really need to, this concealer is really hydrating. All right, so I set my whole face. It didn't take away the luminosity. See how my skin is still looking radiant? But I set the whole face. Obviously, it's not like a super thick powder, but um, if you press it in with a powder puff, it is so blurring, but it's so lightweight. I am really liking this. I'm trying to dabble a little bit more into more high-end makeup and this is looking super nice obviously it really just depends on how it wears you guys see how my makeup is clearly set but i still have not just like glowiness coming through but i feel like oh what is all this on my freaking lips i feel like my skin just looks like not heavy and you guys saw how much concealer we have on so i do think that looks really really nice so far i'm loving this the only thing i will say is that this quickly gets hard pan I know you guys can't probably tell because of my lights, but you can just scratch it off, but um, it's just, it really quickly with my puff kind of got like hard pan, but I don't mind because I do set my under eyes with this, um, like this happens to my powders. Okay, so it did come with a little lip balm. This is called the Lip Fuel Hyaluronic Acid, and this is from the Kosa Sport Collection, I guess. This is what it looks like, so it is obviously tiny, but it's actually usable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on my lips. Ooh, this feels really nice. This is really, really creamy. And it smells good, it smells like mint. Oh, I like this way more than I thought I would. This is one of those like lip balms that's actually like nice and thick. Mm, thick. So moving on, let's go ahead and do bronzer. So this is what the bronzers look like. I know it seems like it doesn't have a lot, but because it is powder, it does have a good amount to try on. So these are called the Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. They sent me two of them, they're exactly the same. So there's a light, medium, and deep bronze. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the medium shade. Oh, this is like very luminous, but it looks like very radiant but not like super shimmery. I'm gonna go ahead and mix both medium and deep because I do want a little bit of a deeper look. There we go. Ooh, this looks very nice, very radiant. Do we see this? I do think that this bronzer sample does work. Really, as of right now, it's it was just the skin oil sample that didn't work out for me. This bronzer is really, really pretty. The only thing I will say is I don't know 
how deep your skin can be for these bronzers because that medium one was a little bit light for me. I, Me personally, I just prefer a little bit darker. So I don't know how deep the bronzer will work for like actually deep skin tones. It might add like nice luminosity, but I don't know if it's gonna show up as much. But other than that, um, it's looking really pretty. I'm looking very, very glowy. And by the way, I didn't even finish using the sample. There's still more from the medium and I barely touched that deep. So I do think you can get like two uses out of this. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit weird. I kinda wanna do my eyebrows. So actually this eyebrow gel is very interesting. So it comes with a spoolie and the eyebrow gels. So again, this is another another sample that does have a lot of product. This one is called the Airbrow Fluff and Hold Tinted Treatment Gel. So it is described as a clean tinted moussey gel for feather brows in seconds, boosted by hair care actives that support full brow health. Is all of Kosa's products supposed to have like good ingredients? Did I not know this? I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here, which is medium brown. If the actual brow gel does come with a spoolie, it's a really nice spoolie. It's like the perfect size. I really don't like products that have such big uh, eyebrow spoolies. I mean, who has eyebrows that big? N not all of us are blessed in that category. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the product throughout the brows. I really like this spoolie. This is a great spoolie. Look at that. Look at the difference with one little brow gel sample. Looks pretty good. My brows are a little bit darker than I like to have them, but I will say the formula is nice. It's very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. We'll see how it dries, but so far it definitely, you know, it did the eyebrows. It did what it had to do. So looking pretty good. I kind of want to just finish out the eyes real quick. Um, I only have a mascara for the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer on the eyelids, a little bit of eyeliner, and then we can try out the mascara. So let's try out this mascara. So this is called the Big Clean Mascara. The packaging is so cute. This is what the one looks like. Nice, fluffy, and curved. I'm going to go ahead and do two coats on one eye and we can compare it to the other eye. Okay, I had to come back because this is only one coat and look how beautiful. It's giving me an equal amount of length, volume, and separation. It's looking really nice. Um, it's only gonna look better with the second coat, but wow, this is, this is really nice. Um, okay, wow, that mascara looks really nice. This is two coats and this is nothing. It's giving me drama with wispiness. So I really like that. It really, like I said, separated, lengthened, volumized all equally. It looks super nice. Um, I don't really ever hear people talking about this mascara, but it kind of just gave me absolutely everything that I needed. So this looks really, really good. Yay. All right, let's go back to the face. Let's finish out the face. I do have some cream blushes and highlighters. So again, another really, really good size sample. This is the Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter Duo. Um, I'm gonna use this blush and this highlight because those are the ones that I like. We're using the shade Eighth Muse. I'm gonna grab it with my fingers and then put it on my hand and then grab it with a brush because we already do have that powder bronzer really really pretty it's very creamy but it's not like super dewy in a good way like it's nice and blendable but it's not greasy i really don't like greasy blushes but it's very like emollient so it's nice obviously we're going over a powder bronzer and it's blending out well so that's always a good sign of a good cream product in my opinion we're gonna be such dewy goddesses today so I'm gonna use the shade Velvet Melon. This is more of a champagne shade. And I think I'm just gonna blend it out with uh, a sponge. I'm gonna blend this out with a sponge. No. I think it needs to be blended out with a brush. Really pretty champagne highlight. Added some glow. Again, not too much, not too little. I really like that. I don't like super, super highlighty highlighters, if that even makes sense. All right, so far those cream products look super, super nice together. Let's apply some powder over it. Okay, so I guess they have a similar concept with their powders. So this is like a powder blush and highlight duo. So it's called the Color and Light Press Powder Blush and Highlight Duo. I'm gonna use the cool tone one. So I'm gonna use these two shades right here. Oh, this is cute. It's giving me a nice 
flush on the skin. These powder samples are actually really nice. They do work. They don't have a lot of product, but they definitely give you enough to really try out the product, so I appreciate that. And then for highlight, I'm gonna grab it with a smaller brush, like this one. And we don't even need more highlight, but just for the sake of the video, again, this is the Cool Tone Pink Duo. And some highlight. It's nice, it's not super blinding, but it does give me a nice glow without looking like too crazy. So, so far, so far, I'm liking every single product, so not bad. I mean, this is such good marketing to do an at-home testing kit because now I know that I like all these products. All right, that is the base. I mean, for a pack of samples, not too bad, huh? Okay, so for lips, I have two different products. We could definitely just try both. One's a lipstick, one's a gloss. I kind of want to see what this gloss looks like by itself. So again, these are the Wet Lip Oil Glosses, Juicy and Plumping Color, and it does have hyaluronic acid, peptides, primrose oil, avocado oil, shea butter. It has a lot of really good ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Malibu Cool Surfy Pink. This is a good size for an oil, a good size sample. It smells like um, like vanilla cookies. So this one doesn't have that much color, but it is feeling really, really nice. As you guys can see, it's nice and juicy. It is actually thicker than I thought. For an oil, it actually is nice and thick. It's not like slippery. It has a really good consistency. This one has a little bit of reflect. This looks really nice. So again, this is the shade Malibu Cool Surfy Pink on the lip oil glosses, and it looks really, really pretty. So there is no lip liner in the set, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with an affordable lip liner, and then we will apply the lipstick. I line my lips with some lip liner. It's Morphe Sweet Tea, and now let's apply some lipstick. So this is called the Weightless Lip Color. So it is a game-changing clean lipstick made with active botanical oils and butters to hydrate and nourish. All right, so going in with this shade, which is Stardust, I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. Oh, wow. This looks like a gloss. Oh my God, this looks so nice. Okay, I applied the tiniest amount, and this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, the shade's gonna be a little bit manipulated by the lip liner, but as you guys can see, the formula, it's, you know, it doesn't actually feel that glossy. It just feels like a regular cream lipstick, but it's giving me a gloss finish. So this looks really nice and it feels really, really good. You know, I usually don't care for very glossy lipsticks, but this looks like an actual lipstick with gloss on top. So it's not like sliding around everywhere. It looks so nice. Okay, so the last test that I personally need for a powder is I like to set my face with a setting spray and then I like to powder over my pores to make them disappear again. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Setting Mist. All right, I zoomed you guys in very close because I wanna, I want you guys to experience this with me. As you can see, my skin looks fine, but I just like to get rid of all of this texture. So I'm gonna grab some powder, load it up, and then I'm gonna press it. Mmm, that looks so nice. I obviously know that powder will always like mattify your skin. But I have to say, this powder does not feel heavy at all. This looks so nice. Even though I do have a bunch of powder right here, it doesn't look cakey. Do we see this? I love that. I really am loving this powder. If it wears beautifully, like I think it will, this might be my new go-to powder because see how nicely it set my under eyes, but it also blurred my skin. What do we think, guys? This is nice. This is so nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, it also comes with a deodorant. It is the Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant, and it is a clean deodorant with a rollerball. Oh my God, and it smells like a spa. So this is actually a really good like travel size, so I just wanted to let you guys know. I haven't tried this yet, but this does come in the kit. Alrighty guys, and that is a full face of Kosas. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I will, huh, 
I will link every product down below and then I will also just link the at home starter kit so if you guys are interested in that I will just link that down below and of course I will also write down the shades that I used if you guys miss them but yeah I'm super impressed I mean honestly I feel like you can't go wrong with these like Kosas things but if you guys want to do the at home kit go ahead and do it I really enjoyed it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Let me know if you guys have tried this at home kit and how you guys liked it and what was your favorite product. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.